Only a man knows what a man needs. And I said, well, I'm, I'm sorry what I need to do. So she took me to Quincy Jones's house. Quincy Jones brought in Fresh Prince. Mm, and his first movie was what? Six Degrees of Set Up Sex Rings in Hollywood. Hey folks, it seems like Jamie Foxx has jumped on the no holds barred train, spilling some major tea in Hollywood. Lately, he's been throwing shade left and right, and his latest target appears to be none other than the beloved Will Smith. Yes, you heard that right, the Fresh Prince himself. The word on the street is that Jamie Foxx is calling out Will Smith for allegedly having a long history of mistreating young actors. I know it sounds absolutely wild because come on, it's Will Smith, the guy we all know and love. But according to the grapevine, the charming persona might just be a front, and behind the scenes, he could be a whole different person. And here's where things get even more intriguing. The speculation about Smith's associations. He's buddies with some controversial figures like P. Diddy, who's had his fair share of allegations. So the theory goes, if you're rolling with someone like that, who knows what kind of vibes you're putting out into the world? Now the burning question, who are these young actors that Will Smith supposedly mistreated? Well, let's dig into the juicy details and see what this Hollywood drama is all about. All right, so we all know Will Smith, the guy who's no stranger to making headlines lines, whether it's for his work in the entertainment industry or for some unexpected twists in his personal life. This Grammy award-winning actor, film producer, and rapper always manages to keep the social media newsfeed buzzing. And let's be real, who doesn't love a bit of celebrity controversy? Now let's dive into the gossip pool. There have been these ongoing whispers about Will's and some time back, he got caught up in rumors of dating his male co-star, Dwayne Martin. Back in November 2023, a former friend and assistant of Smith Bilal spilled some major tea during an interview with YouTuber Tasha Kay. According to Bilal, he walked in on Will Smith and Dwayne Martin getting up to some adult activities in Martin's dressing room. And the drama doesn't stop there. Rumors also circulate that Will's connection with Dwayne Martin might have played a role in the divorce of Tisha Campbell and Dwayne. Yikes, right? But wait, there's more. YouTube sensation Trisha Paytas decided to add her two cents, accusing Will Smith of allegedly making her male dancers do more than just dance. According to Trisha, these dancers found themselves in some seriously uncomfortable situations against their will. Now, the plot thickens when we rewind to 2016. The late actress Alexis Arquette claimed that Will Smith's ex-wife, Cherie Zampino, divorced him because she caught Will in bed with another man. According to Daily Mail, Arquette spilled the tea in a now-deleted Facebook post, hinting that Jada Pinkett Smith might have a story of her own to tell. In the words of Alexis, when Jada comes out as gay and her beard husband admits his first marriage ended when she walked into him servicing his sugar daddy, Benny Medina, then I will listen to them. Yep, that's some heavy gossip right there. And let's not forget about Will's bromance with Diddy. But here's the kicker. Rumors have been swirling for years about Diddy's SEX. Diddy's former bodyguard, Jean, is known for dropping bombshells about Diddy's life. According to Jean, Diddy once gave him the ultimate door duty. Yo, Jean, watch the door. Don't let nobody come through here. Little did Jean know he'd be witnessing Diddy and another man making a swift butt exit. Yep, you heard that right. Gene claims he saw it with his own eyes. Do you all recall the 2022 Academy Awards when Will Smith unexpectedly stormed the stage and smacked Chris Rock? Well, guess who swooped in to save the day? None other than Diddy. He tried to cool things down and make it seem all chill. And Chris, we're gonna solve that like family at the gold party, okay? But right now we're moving on with love. Everybody make some noise. But now the grapevine is buzzing with rumors that their relationship might be more than just a bromance. Word on the street is they might be involved in some shady stuff, similar to what went down with Brycher Gray. Let's do a quick rundown on the mystery surrounding Brycher's disappearance from the scene. Remember when he was rocking it on Empire and everyone thought he was on the fast track to superstardom post-Empire? Well, here's the tea, turns out. His exit from the industry wasn't exactly by choice. The rumor mill is buzzing with whispers that Brycher got the old blackball treatment from none other than Will Smith and Diddy. Why, you ask? Well, apparently Brycher wanted out of their alleged freak-offs, and that didn't sit too well with the big names. So cue the consequences and enter the cancel culture. Poof, Brycher was out of the industry faster than you can say Hollywood drama. Now, if you're wondering how he got into this mess in the first place, let me lay it out for you. Back in his teenage days, Brycher crossed paths with Charlie Mack, a talent manager extraordinaire. Charlie, being the magician he is, snagged Brycher an audition for Empire, and the dude aced it landing the role. Fast forward to Hollywood, with Charlie playing manager and guiding Brycheer through the industry maze. 
Here's the kicker. Charlie wasn't just any manager, he was the plug. He had connections that could make your head spin, linking Bryshear with the big shots in Tinseltown, including none other than Will Smith. So, Will and Bryshear hit it off like a house on fire right from the get-go. And can you blame them? I mean, Bryshear was it on Empire and Will was all kinds of impressed. So, naturally a mentorship dynamic kicked in, making it seem like the dream team in the making. I mean, who wouldn't want to be mentored by the Fresh Prince himself, right? Now, this sounds like a sweet deal on paper, but you know how the saying goes, not everything that glitters is gold. So, after Diddy and Will allegedly roped Bry Cher into these freak-offs, promising to boost his career in return, after a few rounds of this explicit lifestyle, Bry Cher had enough and opted out, finding it all too much to handle. Now here's where the plot thickens. Breischer's decision to distance himself from Diddy and Will came right before Empire wrapped up, leaving him jobless. Post-Empire, Breischer's life took a nosedive, and initially, it seemed like he might not have handled his fame well, but the real kicker is the alleged fallout with Diddy and Will, who, according to rumors, were furious that Breischer dared to walk away. Allegedly, they didn't take kindly to his departure, and supposedly pulled some strings to blacklist him from the industry. Remember how Cassie spilled the tea about Diddy threatening her career when she tried to leave? Well, if the rumors are to be believed, Breischer faced a similar fate. Allegedly, Diddy and Will ruined his career as a form of revenge, and there are even whispers that they allegedly used threats to keep him silent. Ever wondered why Breischer's career didn't soar, despite having A-list mentors like Will Smith and Diddy? Well, the rumors suggest they might be the ones who allegedly kicked him out of the spotlight in the first place. Alright, so after the Empire chapter closed, Breischer decided to dip his toes into the music scene, dropping some tracks that gained some traction. There were even plans for a tour in the works. But then, out of the blue, things took a nosedive airplay dwindled, audition callbacks dried up, and he found himself ousted from the industry. It was like hitting a brick wall, and the whole ordeal took a toll on Bryshear's mental well-being. The once cool-headed guy who came to LA with dreams was now a different version of himself. The downward spiral didn't stop there. Bryshear started grappling with legal troubles, and in July 2020, a disturbing incident unfolded. A woman ran into the streets, seeking help, claiming to be Bryshear's wife. She alleged that he had been aggressive, putting his hands on her and even choking her until she passed out. According to her, the confrontation was sparked by accusations of infidelity. This legal storm landed Bryshear with serious charges, felony aggravated assault, misdemeanor assault, and disorderly misconduct. He eventually took a guilty plea for the domestic violence charge, scoring a 10-day stint in the county jail and a three-year probation sentence. Insiders are now pointing fingers at Diddy and Will, claiming they're allegedly the architects of Bryshear's downfall. As Bryshear reportedly hears more stories of others stepping forward against Diddy, he's decided to join the chorus. Allegedly traumatized by the rumored freak-offs, he's speaking out, asserting that the aftermath has haunted him for years. And get this, rumors are saying that he is filing a whooping $50 million lawsuit against Diddy and Will. It seems like Breischer's ready to take his story to the forefront, holding those he believes responsible for his life's unraveling accountable. Now, Breischer isn't the lone ranger here. YK Osiris is stepping into the spotlight with a lawsuit that's shining a whole new light on Diddy. And let me tell you, it's not pretty. This one doesn't involve Will Will Smith, but trust me, it's just as jaw-dropping, if not worse. The crazy part? The signs were there all along, we just didn't connect the dots. So, there's been this lingering rumor about Osiris cozying up to Diddy, raising eyebrows and sparking all sorts of questions about what was really going on behind the scenes. Whispers on the streets hinted that Osiris might have been more than just a rising star. He was allegedly Diddy's boy toy, his little plaything in the industry. Yep, Hollywood's got its own set of wild tales. Osiris burst onto the scene in 2018 with the platinum hit Valentine, earning himself a deal with Def Jam Records. But here's where it gets interesting. His album under the label didn't quite hit the mark, and he found himself dropped in 2022. However, Osiris had some tricks up his sleeve. During his time at Def Jam, he networked like a pro and landed himself smack in the middle of Diddy's inner circle. Some even whisper that he landed on Diddy's bed, but shh, you didn't hear that from me. Even after getting the boot from Def Jam due to lackluster album sales, Osiris continued his bromance with Diddy. Initially, we thought Diddy was just playing mentor in the music game, you know, like he did with Breischer, if you catch my drift. People speculated that Diddy might even sign him to Bad Boy Records given their tight friendship, but that never materialized. Instead, the streets were buzzing with whispers that Osiris remained quite literally in Diddy's innermost circle. Now, the rumors about Osiris and Diddy took a turn for the spicy when they jetted off to Jamaica. Now, dudes taking vacations 
vacations together is no big deal, right? Happens all the time, just friends chilling. But this particular escapade had a vibe that had everyone giving them the side eye. Suddenly, it was like a puzzle, and people started connecting dots left and right. So, you know how we talked about Diddy's shady history with younger guys in the industry? Well, now folks were convinced he was allegedly grooming Osiris to be his new boy toy. The whole trip screamed extra, and it all came down to the pictures Osiris posted. Take, for instance, Diddy dropping a shirtless pic in the ocean. Osiris didn't just double tap, he reposted it on his Instagram stories with some grateful emojis. And let me tell you, people couldn't stop chatting about how weirdly fruity it all seemed. But hold on, Osiris wasn't done. Oh no, he took things up a notch with a post and delete move, sharing a pic of him and Diddy getting a couple's massage by the sea. Now if that doesn't scream zesty, I don't know what does. And it got even zestier with his caption, listening to that at Diddy and at B2K eating that good fruit in the beautiful weather. What in the world? It felt more like a romantic getaway than a bro's trip. The internet had a field day dissecting these posts, and the verdict was clear. It sure as heck didn't look like they were just friends enjoying a vacation. The Jamaica trip, it turns out, wasn't exactly a buddy-buddy vacation. And here's the kicker. Diddy apparently footed the bill for the whole shebang. Now, Osiris wasn't exactly rolling in dough at the time. In fact, he was broke as a joke. Just a few months prior, he owned up to being flat-out broke, even having to sell off his cars and other fancy stuff just to make ends meet. Money troubles, we've all been there, right? But here's where it gets wild, word on the street was that Diddy allegedly bankrolled Osiris's lifestyle in exchange for, well, allegedly being his boy toy. Yeah, it's kind of like the whispers circulating about his involvement with another artist, Young Miami. Now hold on to your seat because it gets even stranger. Osiris's ex-girlfriend spilled the tea, revealing she dumped him after allegedly catching him in bed with a man. She went straight to the gram saying, stop asking me what happened with my BD. I caught him with a man, okay? Naturally, people started connecting the dots, speculating that the mystery man in question was none other than Diddy. And let's be real, it wouldn't be the first time he's been accused of having these kinds of arrangements with younger men in the industry. So, things got seriously messed up in October 2022 when YK went on Instagram Live while driving, talking about how he doesn't have any industry friends left and is thinking about taking his own life. Some folks at the time kind of made fun of him, thinking he was just upset about losing connections. But YK dropped another video saying people don't get what goes down in the music biz and calling out rappers who talk about love and God, but supposedly serve the devil. But wait, because it seems like Will Smith's antics in the family department are taking a bizarre turn. You might not have caught wind of this, but there's some talk about Will's peculiar way of showing affection to his own son, Jaden. Fans are side-eyeing Smith for what they're calling creepy and weird behavior as a father figure, especially towards Jaden. And then, there's the rumors about Jaden Smith's love life that's been swirling for a while now, with whispers about his potential involvement with both guys and girls. While he's never publicly spilled the beans on his SEX orientation, back in 2014, he briefly mentioned dating Tyler, the creator, in an interview. So, you know, the mystery continues. Tyler, the creator, is my boyfriend! It's true! But hey, let's swing back to Papa Smith for a sec. It's kind of strange that he got all riled up about news suggesting Jaden might be dating a man, but hush-hush about his own doings behind closed doors. Will dropped some wisdom bombs during an interview, saying he and Jaden are all about letting their kids discover themselves because, in his words, you can never be happy being what you're not. Sounds all great, right? Well, here's the twist. In the same interview, Will called Jaden stupid for not keeping things under wraps in his life. And it gets even more complicated. Jaden seems to be a bit fed up with the Smith family situation. He's been vocal about wishing Tupac could be his dad instead of Will because, according to Jaden, Will isn't giving him the support he craves. He's even throwing it back to the supposed best connection in the world, the one he had with his mom. Tupac. Best friends. Right. Like, <laughs> well, they say maybe your best friend, but I'm glad they didn't. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, so am I. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> According to Jaden, he didn't fully grasp the magnitude of his parents' impact until he stepped out into the world and felt the weight of the expectations tied to the Smith name. It seems like the Smiths are basically hip-hop royalty, making waves in a way that's left a lasting impression on the world. On the flip side, Jaden's sister, Willow Smith, threw us all for a loop with a letter she penned to the late Tupac when she was just 11. 
In this heartfelt note, she was practically begging him to make a comeback for the sake of her mom's happiness. The whole thing got aired out on social media by influencer Kevin Samuels during a podcast, and he couldn't help but point out the irony of a little girl writing to Tupac instead of, say, Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny. Like, why Tupac? And this is what's going on in your house. Your wife is in love with a dead man. Dear, dear Tupac, I think my mommy really misses you. Can you please come back? Can you come back so me and my mommy can be happy? I wish you were here. I really do. Tupac got in what, 95, 96? Willow never met Tupac. Why is this little girl writing a letter to Tupac? Why is Will Smith's daughter writing a letter to Tupac? Now this brings us to the meaty part, Will Smith's role as a father and husband. It seems like there's a bit of a disconnect here. Jaden's openly expressing his preference for Tupac over his own dad, and Willow's writing love letters to a deceased rapper. Not exactly your typical family dynamics. Also, Tupac and Diddy weren't exactly best buds. In fact, they were on the opposite ends of the spectrum, and Tupac considered Diddy as an enemy. Now here's where it gets intriguing. Will Smith seems to have a fondness for Diddy, who was a big supporter of Biggie, Tupac's natural adversary. Could this be a case of choosing sides? Jaden, in particular, doesn't seem too thrilled about Diddy, perhaps because he's already made his preference clear. Tupac over Smith. But it's not just the kids who have a soft spot for Tupac. Turns out Jada herself has been carrying a torch for her long-lost friend. And guess what? Will Smith spilled the tea on his feelings of jealousy in a recent interview. When asked if he ever felt a tinge of jealousy about Jada's deep connection with Tupac, Will didn't hold back. He went all in saying, oh, F yeah, oh my god, that was in the early days. Apparently, Jada and Tupac had this deep, non-romantic love going on, having grown up together. But here's the kicker, they reached that age where things could have taken a turn, and that's when Jada was with Will. Uh, were you ever jealous of the love Jada had for Tupac? Uh, oh, f yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to oh say no. Oh my god. <laughs> Grew up together, and, you know, they loved each other, but they never had that, you know, they never had a but they had come into that age where now that was a possibility and then Jada was with me. Will bared it all, confessing that he was the soft rapper from Philly, feeling deeply insecure about competing with the larger-than-life Tupac. He admitted to not being man enough to handle the situation well. According to Will, Jada saw Tupac as the image of perfection, and he just couldn't handle the weight of that comparison. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it, you know? I was this, I was the soft rapper from Philly right. and he was Pac. Right. Yeah, no, I was <laughs> deeply deeply uh... as their relationship progressed will felt an odd happiness when jada spent less time with tupac he even called it a twisted kind of victory he shared if she chooses me over tupac there was no way i could be a coward i have rarely felt more validated will confessed that even though he was in the same room as tupac multiple times he never spoke to him the way Jada loved Pac, according to Will, made it impossible for him to be friends with the legendary rapper. He chalked it up to his own immaturity at the time. And if you didn't know, Jada Pinkett and Tupac had this super tight friendship that went way back to their Baltimore school for the arts days. They bonded over their love for the arts and became inseparable. Now, despite all the rumors and speculation floating around, both Jada and Tupac were like, nah, it's just platonic. Jada once spilled the beans saying, I really did believe that he was going to be here for the long run. And so when I think about about it, I still get really mad. I get mad at God, I get mad at him, I get mad at everybody. So, you know, it was a deep connection. I really did believe that he was gonna be here for the long run. Right. And so when I think about it, I still get really mad. Now connecting the dots, some folks are thinking maybe Jada had more love for Tupac than her husband Will. I mean, Will did admit feeling insecure about their bond. And if that's not enough, he's been hanging out a lot with his buddy Diddy. But hold on guys, it gets deep. Let's do a quick rundown on that. So Jamie Foxx recently spilled some juicy details during a chat with Scott Evans from Access Hollywood. Flashback to 2005, Jamie's on cloud nine after bagging that Academy Award for playing Ray Charles and the celebration is in full swing. But here's where it takes a wild turn. OPR, Winfrey randomly hits him up. OPR being OPR isn't about to sugarcoat things. She straight up tells Jamie, you're blowing it. And just when you think it can't get any crazier, Oprah decides to take him somewhere to make him really grasp the magnitude of the situation. This is Oprah. Uh-oh. You're blowing it, Jamie Foxx. Oh, really? I what a nice what? thing for her to do. You're blowing it. 
I said, what do you mean? She says, all of this gallivant and all this kind of shit, that's not what you want to do. OPR, with anticipation, asks if he's ready to meet the person she's brought for him. Surprise, it's Sidney Poitier. Poitier reminisces about seeing Fox at a party, prompting Fox's confirmation. Moved, Poitier admits that Fox's performance made him grow artistically, comparing it to a two-inch growth, and promises to share something meaningful with him. So, let me break it down. Fox getting the heebie-jeebies from Jones might seem random, but trust me, it's a big deal. Now, if if you're even a little into Hollywood vibes, you've got to know Quincy Jones. He's the real deal. We're talking legendary producer, musician, songwriter, the whole shebang. They even call him the black godfather of the industry, and for good reason. Quincy's track record is a who's who of the music scene. Frank Sinatra, Aretha Franklin, Rufus, and Chaka Khan, and oh, the king himself, Michael Jackson. But why is he always making headline? The music magic. There's something about Quincy that's kept him in the spotlight for decades. There's always been this speculation about Quincy's SEX pre with some wild claims that he sort of nudged guys into gay relationships to boost their Hollywood game. I know, sounds scandalous, right? And the list of supposed flings linked to Quincy is like an endless scroll. But if we're talking about the juiciest bit, two names always take the spotlight in Quincy Jones's romantic saga. None other than Tupac and the Fresh Prince himself, Will Smith. Word on the street is that Quincy Jones might have pushed them into his own version of Hollywood sleepovers. It's this kind of murky connection with Quincy that apparently left a mark, with Will whispers that he was trying to, you know, share his preferences. Now, flashback to this interview with Tupac. The guy spilled the beans, claiming Quincy popped the question about some, well, intimate backside matters. But here's where it gets wild. That interview? Poof. Gone from the entire internet. Like, vanished. Conspiracy or not, it takes some serious clout to wipe out a chat like that. And since Tupac's not around to give us the 411, Quincy seems to have pulled a Houdini on the whole situation, leaving us to connect the dots. Even Napoleon, when grilled about the supposed link between between Tupac and Quincy, straight up shut it down in an interview. Dude denied the whole shebang and went into full-on defense mode for Jones. But you know how it goes, some folks out there still have a memory like a steel trap, and they're holding on to every word Tupac spilled in that interview, no matter how hard anyone tries to sweep it under the Hollywood rug. Now fast forward to today, there are whispers that maybe, just maybe, this is how Will Smith got into the scene and became, well, you know. And the craziest part? Rumors are swirling that he might be doing the same to other young actors. I know, it sounds outlandish, especially when it comes to the beloved Fresh Print. But hey, what are your thoughts on all this? Write your comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Catch you in the next video.